how to prepare for end of financial year. But what we're doing for end of financial year is getting all of your um, information from your business, ensuring that it's correct in order to prepare your tax return. So the main thing that we need from you to start this process is everything that proves your balances at the 30th of June, because that's the end of the financial year. That's the last day of the year when we're looking at financial reports. So what we need is your bank statements to prove that 30th of June. We don't need all of the statements. We just need the one that shows us the balance on the 30th of June, unless that balance doesn't match your bookkeeping program. If it doesn't match, it hasn't been reconciled, then either you need to reconcile that or you give us all of your bank statements and we will do that for you, but that's not included in the normal standard pricing. We also need to check that you've still got all of the assets that you say you have. So motor vehicles, computers, phone systems, anything, any equipment that you have in your business needs to come through and be checked. Now, we don't know what you've got sitting out in your garage or, or in your business office. So we're going to send you your list, your depreciation list normally, so that you can check it off and make sure that everything's there. We want to make sure that the people who owe you money is accounted for correctly. So that's your accounts receivable or debtors list looks okay. Anything that's really old will ask you, is this still owing? Do you think you'll receive it? Because if it's not still owing, you don't think you'll receive it anymore, then that can be written off as a bad debt. and You don't need to pay tax on that invoice if you haven't, haven't received it or not going to receive it. Other things in your asset list will be things like stock. So if you have done a stock count, then we'd like to know the balance of how much stock you have, the cost of that stock, so that we can make sure your balance sheet matches. And then on the, on the other side of the balance sheet, we've got your liabilities. So the things that you owe out to other people. So if you've got loans to a bank or a finance company, then we want to check that those balances match what you owe and be able to claim the interest that you're charged on those loans and on your profit and loss so that it reduces the profit that you make. So we're going to ask for some paperwork, depending on your business, so that we can get started to check all of those balances. And then once we've checked everything on the balance sheet, then the profit and loss should generally flow. That will be all of the income that comes in, all of the costs that go out. So we need to make sure that that whole picture of your business is looking correct. So that's what we need. If you've got any questions, please reach out.